everybody. Welcome to Josh Has Autism. Hello. I'm so happy you're here with us again today. Yeah. Um, there's something that, um, Josh, you've been living away from us now for a couple weeks. Mm-hmm. And um, there's something that I've noticed that I, and I want to ask you specifically about how this works for you, how this feels, and because I don't, because okay. I don't really don't understand it, but I think I have an idea. Okay. Okay. So, when you're left on your own, um, a lot of times nothing w- w- will get done. It doesn't get done, and when I ask you why, you don't know. Right. So, <laughs> yeah. So a lot of times I was like, "Ugh, it's so frustrating. Like, how can you not know? How can you not?" Be aware, because so far, this experiment that we're in the midst of, yeah. what you're doing well is laundry. Yes. And everything else that we've talked about, you're like, uh, I don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you're not, you're not thinking about things. You're not right. being proactive to get things done for yourself. And there's, so... I was thinking that it's like uh, it's like you don't know what you don't know, right? So when I'm asking you a question, you don't know, but you also don't know how to explain to me that you don't know because you don't know that you don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's different than because I thought about this too. I thought, oh, is this all moms and their kids conversations? Like <laughs> you just don't know. Mm-hmm. But I, it's not because. I'll tell you the conversations that I would have with Nana that mm-hmm. fall into this category. Uh, it, the, the thing about I don't know. Okay. It was a really typical conversation with me and my mom, um, your Nana. So Nana would say, remember so-and-so? And I'd say, no. And a normal person might say, oh, well, they did this thing and they looked like that, right? To yeah. help you out to know who they yeah. were, what they looked or whatever. But Nana says, yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, remember... Um, remember their brother so and so and I say no and she says yes you do and I'd say uh, no I don't and she says yes you do they live next to where the old store used to be and I'd say what store <laughs> and she'd say, <laughs> say you know the one right next to where so and so used to live and I'd say I don't that's, remember them that's circular and she'd say, reasoning and she would say yes you do yeah, <laughs> so yeah yeah that's very much so circular reasoning <laughs> yeah but with her when I say I don't know something, she says to me, yes, you do. <laughs> and she'll use that description of something or people that I don't remember or I don't know in the definition of me being the fact that I should know these oh, people. Okay. So so she's crazy. <laughs> well, so that's <laughs> what I go through with my mom. Yeah, I love you, Nana. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. We love you, Nana. Um, so those are the kind of conversations that I have with her. With you, I've noticed something very different, and I and I wanted your take on it. Mm-hmm. So you are trying to find your way over there, and nothing's getting done. Mm. And um, and I know this because I talked to RJ. Yeah. And he wasn't narking you out or anything. I right. just, it was just, we were talking about. He, I understand. He does the illustration. Yeah. So we were talking about that and it kind of said, how are you doing? And he said, eh. And I go, is he doing anything? He goes, no. <laughs> oh. But he doesn't think about. Right. Like, you know, it, so. Right. Anyway, like, so I kind of got it. I, I know that, I know that yesterday he, he asked me, hey, whenever I'm at work, would you mind doing, doing some of the dishes? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, that's fine. Mm-hmm. It just doesn't occur to me to actually right. do that. Right. And so, in that exact scenario, if you're asked what happened, it, we could ask you in many different ways. Some of them don't sound kind of, they sound like accusatory, like, why didn't you do the dishes? That's not what I'm, that's not what I'm interested in. I'm inter- interested in, what why? was the reason why you could not do the dishes or something like that? Yeah, but even a step further than that, why did you not even know that it might need your attention? If you go into your space, and we've done, we've talked about this on the podcast before, mm-hmm. but that the fact that you are 
kind of oblivious to those things that are around you. Yeah. And your motivation to get something done is seems like it's not there, and I don't know why. But mm-hmm. one thing that I was thinking about is that so much effort was put into when you were growing up and into into adulthood. So much effort was put in to how you can integrate into society. Mm-hmm. So how can you be around neurotypicals and and do well? And for me, doing well is you not getting arrested because you need to know that you can't grab people. That you, you know what I mean? Like you can't, you, you, you have to be very, things that you didn't know, you had to know. Yeah. And so my purpose in all along was just for you to be safe. Yeah. You know, and for you to be happy. Yeah. Thing is, you're happier when you're not around people. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, um, but anyway, that was the focus. The, yeah. Growing up, you were, you know, it was about, so here's the difference. Your responses when you're out in public, mm-hmm. that's a learned behavior. Yes. It's not an innate part of who you are. Right. right. And so yeah. you're you're doing that thing because you were taught to do that thing. And some things you've gotten really, you know, pretty good at. So that I would say that maybe some like a sense of humor. Yeah. You know, like you're looking at me right now in my eyes. Yeah. That when you've got nailed. I mean, you can look at people in their eyes right now. Now, whether or not you're focusing or paying attention, I don't know. But you've got, <laughs> but you've you've got the look. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, I. I another learned response in regards to the eye thing that I had to learn was not to stare at you in the eyes. Hmm. Like, how long was too long, how long was too short. Right. And that's still sometimes a difficulty with me, because it makes me, whenever it occurs to me, it's like, oh, crap, how long is too long? Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. So it, it, yeah, because there's so many nuances. Yeah. Like, you can't just learn one thing. Like, this is what you need to do, because right. the nuances of every situation... Right. You know, is different. So, right. It's it's complicated. Well, my point is that you worked so hard on um, accomplishing that goal of being able to um, go out and be in society and... Uh, I'm still listening. Okay. And uh, <laughs> to go out in, in, in society and, and to have conversations and mm-hmm. to, you know, to... to Function and mm-hmm. to be safe. Yeah. To function in functions. Yes. To function in functions. And it takes an awful lot out of you to do that. Yeah. A lot of attention. Yeah. People wouldn't know that that was happening. You know, people yeah. wouldn't know that it was that difficult for you. So, and I have a point. I'm bringing it back to the original thing. But yes. I just, I, I, I just, re- you know, I was, was thinking about this subject and you... And I know that um, you can only take kind of like a society in spurts, yes. you know, interaction in spurts, because then you're going to need your time alone. Just yes. eat, you just want to be left alone. Yes. Um, and you put out so much effort. It's like you gear up, like you're about mm-hmm. to leave, right? Yeah. It's like you gear up, <laughs> yeah. you know, like the 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 rest of us might grab our stuff, you know. Like, yeah. I'll grab my purse or, yeah. you know, dad grab his wallet, the keys, whatever. Yeah, I do all that and I have to grab onto this persona that I put on for outside. Mm-hmm. Yes. So and, th- it, it's, and it's not that I'm not being real to myself, but at the same time, it is it is me putting on a face so that I can function in society. Yes. And it's different than... It's different than a neurotypical person because we all, when we go out, mm-hmm. we're not necessarily that person 
you know, when we're out someplace and we, well, some people are, and now they're on video. And, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like with the cell phones, there's all slew of people that have done things out in public that are really who they are. Yeah. You know, they say it's not, um, but, you know, they've acted a way that was, you know, not cool or whatever. Yeah. But, yeah, so people are getting caught, you know, yeah. with this, 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 kind of revealing um in you know video of who they are whereas um for you what are you laughing at this little hand gesture you did <laughs> that was a phone it was a phone taking a yeah. oh okay yeah. <laughs> okay yeah um <laughs> yes yeah, so yeah, people, you know, it's like they say, you like you don't know somebody until you live with them. Yeah. And uh, so we all do that, but it's not it's not the same at all when we come, when we talk about what you do when you go out in public. It's not it at all because the rest of us are putting like ourselves the per the how we want to be seen i guess mm -hmm. and and for you that's not how it is for you it's gearing up to be okay yes and i think that sometimes it's so overwhelming because you're taking everything in and it seems sometimes that it's actually painful um for you to be out around people. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Not physically painful. I'd like to clarify that. Not physically painful. But sometimes it's very difficult for me. Emotionally and, and mentally. To socialize. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it can be very frustrating at times. Especially if someone I'm around is is messing around, joking around, doing all kinds of weird stuff. Like mm -hmm. you're like that we're cut on video and stuff. Mm -hmm. I I don't know if I can do that kind of stuff. Hmm. Well right. And the thing that I wanted to talk to you about um specifically in regards to that is that you have gotten so good at gearing up to going out in public. And you do you've gotten to where you can make phone calls. Mm -hmm. um, I know that you like me being near you because if you're making the phone call, you don't know what to do. If I'm there, it helps you to know what to do. Right. In, in a, like official phone calls mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, you, you've really a, accomplished an awful lot to be able to, to, to function. When it comes to you um, and your own life, and your own um, needs that need to be taken care of around the um, apartment. Those things, um, it seems to me that I don't want to ask this. This is what I wanted to ask you. Mm -hmm. Does it not work because you don't gear up for it like you do before you go out in public? That's an interesting thought. Yeah. Um, I've never thought of it like that. Me either. Um, that, that's a very likely scenario. Um, a very likely possibility of what's happening. Mm -hmm. Um, Wow. Well, oh. <laughs> High five. Um, okay. Because I was trying to figure this out. Mm -hmm. um, because you're not a thoughtless person. Right. You're not... Um, it's not your intention. You're not comfortable being careless. Right. Um, but at the same time, as I can be thoughtful... I'm also absent-minded, I think. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
but there's been this disconnect and and what I'm talking about right now is not life skills right it's before you get to the life skills it's like what do you do in order to be successful when you go out and what's not happening in order for you to begin to be successful in your own daily life right so we might be talking about life skills ultimately mm-hmm. but it feels like but even whenever I'm at home alone, it, there's stuff I need to do that's not happening. Yeah, it's like uh, yeah. so. So when if if somebody's um um running a race and they hear the gun go off, right? Mm-hmm. They're ready to go from the race, and you know that gun goes off. Well, if you're out in public, you're off. Yeah. I gotta get this visual of at home that gun goes off. You're wandering around facing the other way, <laughs> you mm-hmm. know, not even aware. Yeah. That it's time to start something. Not even aware that there's been a signal to, to do something. Right. And you can clearly see what's around you. You're extremely intelligent. You would be able to to follow uh, whatever you... That we've also talked about before. Whatever you mm-hmm. put in place to keep you on track. Mm-hmm. But if you're not there... It just seems to me like there's no getting ready. You're not, you're not like on your mark, get set. You're not even there yet. Right. So how can you go when you're not even... At the starting line. Yeah. Yeah. And you most definitely prepare yourself for the starting line before you do anything else that involves anybody else. Mm-hmm. Um... Even taking the trash out, that's something that you, where you live, because it's an apartment, you can run into people and, you know, it's, mm-hmm. uh, it, it, it's this, you prepare yourself to go out. You prepare yourself to go out in public. Right. You've worked very, very hard for so many years. So, whenever you said that that's not, so, so clearly that's not something that you thought about before. Right. Is it bring anything up for you that you can maybe think about or look at or maybe do some things differently or what? I don't know the answer to that question. I think that it possibly opens up possibilities. Like what? Like to be able to uh, like to think about putting an alarm or something like that for something to try and think about something like that for everyday things well the thing is too that i thought about is that these kind of things so so to take it a step further you've internalized what needs to be done when you go out in public Mm -hmm. and that hasn't happened for your self-care right for your daily life right so uh, I I think work. Uh, how would you go about? We worked for years for you to be able to do the things that you do now mm-hmm. when having conversations with people. What do you think might help internally, not just the external stuff like setting alarms? Because we've already talked about all that. It's yeah. just that it's been my idea all the time. Yeah, <laughs> it's like me there nagging you, going, dude. Do something. (laughs) You know? But what I'm saying is that if it's a matter of you not taking the steps that you need to take to get prepared, what can you do to get prepared internally? If that's what you're thinking. That's what I was thinking. But... Um... Having difficulty following that. Okay. I'm sorry. When you said that it was a it was a new concept, mm-hmm. explain that. How does that feel? What would you do? Um. So that kind of so we just talked just now about this connection mm-hmm. that we've never talked about before. Right. Um. So you gear up to go out. Yeah. You kind of prepare yourself to go out. Yes. Yes. And it's 
sometimes at this point, it's a, a subconscious thing at this point. Right. But to try and put that into my everyday things that I do. Mm-hmm. I mean, there are some steps that I do for like cooking and things like that. I think that I'm talking... But, I'm sorry. <laughs> but actually putting that into everything... That is... Yeah, it's a new idea. It's, it's going to be difficult to implement it. Just like it took me a long time for me to implement it into my regular life. Outside of the house. Well, I was thinking that just maybe the awareness... Because sometimes it's like I'm saying you don't know what you don't know. Mm-hmm. But I always thought that maybe if it was framed in the way that it's it's the same thing that you need to do to prepare yourself to deal with other people. But now, utilize those tools that you've mastered mm-hmm. to deal with what you need to do. And I'm not, again, I'm not talking about the things, the steps, because we can go through the list of right. this alarm or that alarm or this right, right. calendar or whatever it is. Right. It's the, uh, it's the mental preparation. Yes. And I'm, but, and I'm talking about your state of being. Okay. Because it seems like you're missing, like you're just not available and whenever we're talking about you doing these things for yourself, you don't seem to be um, aware that you even need to do anything. That, that's, you know, it's, it's part of the way, your autism, right? That's, right. that's the way that you experience that. Right. But I guess what I'm saying is, if, if you can begin to look at this in way of, Making yourself a priority every day, like you, and, and get yourself ready to do the things you need to do every day. Just like you get yourself ready when you have to go out and talk to people. Right. Like put it on the same level of priority. Right. Because what it what what's, it looks like specifically what I'm talking about again is to go even deeper is it's not the things that you're not getting done that I'm talking about. It's that total lack of awareness Mm -hmm. and total lack of motivation. Okay. And if you don't have that, you're not going to get the stuff done. You're not going to be able to have a plan that you follow through. No matter... Whether it's me or it's RJ telling you or or there's the life coach that comes in. Right. If you're not prepared to engage, then it's not going to happen. Right. And what I think is that we've never had that specific conversation because it didn't occur to me before Hmm. that you have to put yourself and what you need to get the life that you want to lead, you have to give yourself as much attention as I you... do for others. Right. Okay. You know, I, I mean, I was, I've told you your whole life how important you are. Yeah. And that you matter, how you feel matters, yeah. what you think matters. Yeah. Also, spent a lot of time talking to you about making sure that you understood that that the way that you think is not wrong. Who you are is not wrong. Right. This has been an entire, the whole entire effort has been in order to help you to feel better about yourself in society. And you do with that with what, what you want, right. right? You can be immersed as you want or it can be as limited as you want. But when you go out into society that you're okay, that you're safe, that you can function, you know, that's been the goal. Right. And now I'm saying, let's 
I would like it if you could really begin to focus and put that kind of energy on yourself and understand that those conversations that we had mm -hmm. about how you think and how you feel are as important as anybody else's. And by the way, how many times have I said that your way of thinking actually seems right <laughs> and the rest of us, you know, yeah. <laughs> are making things so much harder for ourselves yeah. um, and then expecting, you know, you to conform when you're kind of going, what? This is yeah. weird. Yeah. <laughs> and you're right. <laughs> but it is a matter of making sure that you understand that how you feel matters and what you think matters. And so giving yourself that um, um, time, you know what I mean? Mm. Uh, that I, we've used the terms gearing up or preparing or yeah, whatever. Uh, I guess another way to say it would be psyching myself up for doing something. You, and yeah, I get it. So I'm thinking that I'm thinking that if you can take that stuff that you've learned in order to leave the house. Yeah. You could use that for yourself every day. When you get up, like go into that mode of okay, I got to okay, here we go. Yeah. And understand, it you're not expected to be engaged all day long. Right. You, you know, you, you can have your downtime, your quiet time, your not your time where you're not going to think about you're going to read. Yeah. You know, yeah. we know that. But it, it seems like we keep talking about these tools that can be used. And it never really occurred to me that you already use a tool. You already learned how to take yourself out and pretend mm -hmm. <laughs> to be, you know, whatever. Because a lot of it was pretending at first. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah. And when we went through all the conversations of when somebody says, how are you? The typical response is, I'm fine. And, you know, how are you? That is like kind of a rhetorical yeah. question. You right. don't, and that people don't necessarily want to know all that's gone on with, right. <laughs> with you that day. Right. So that was learned behavior. Mm -hmm. So you except, know, except I can't ask myself, how am I doing? Oh, I'm fine. I think you could. I could, but I'd be lying to myself. <laughs> Well, except for, I think that it's important for you to be in touch with what's happening with you each day in order for you to become engaged yeah. every day. Yeah. So as silly as what you just said sounds to you right now, mm -hmm. I think that's what I'm asking you to do. To have voices in my head? <laughs> well, let them, t let them come out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. I think it's a shift in mindset. Yeah. And everything else so far, I'm I'm just curious to see because everything else has been from the outside in. So, the difference has been this when it comes to the life skills when it's been come to you doing something. Um or, I mean again, Deeper than just life skills, it's about you being present every day in your own life. There hasn't been motivation. Right. And, or, or even awareness. Right. And so often when I ask you, it's, I don't know. So I'm saying, I'm, I was just thinking, if you, how do you not always know? Like, you, you, every day, it's, I don't know. Things are not getting done. And, but you don't know. You're just kind of lost. And so, to, to use what you already do, what you've learned to do, but just at home. So when you get up now, go into that mode. You know, mm -hmm. get, get, get yourself, when you get in that mode, you're more, you're alert. Mm -hmm. And you, you, um... 
again, look right in, in, in people's eyes and you yeah. have m- meaningful conversations. Yeah. Or at least banter that works. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. If you did that for yourself, I, I just wonder if that could change things for you. Because we wouldn't be talking then about, well, you got to do this and then do this and then do this. Those are the tangible things that don't resonate with you. Right. Because you're not present. You're not aware. So giving yourself the opportunity to be kind of, again, at that starting point for the race. Right. You know, I'm thinking that you using those strategies that you already have, but for yourself, for your everyday life, would at least put you facing the right direction and at the starting line then. Yeah. Instead of the other way, wandering, you know, where you're not aware. Right, right. Yeah. What do you think? I think that that's a whole other podcast then. <laughs> <laughs> to, an- to answer uh, yeah. how, it's, how it's been and everything. Okay. Are you willing to try that? Do you think that you have... I expressed that to you clearly. I think so. I can't verbalize it back to you. Okay. I've always had difficulty doing that. Okay. But I, I think I can. Okay. All right. Um, let's, if this will stick, um, you try to do this on your own. Mm-hmm. And if it doesn't, if it's not clicking in the mornings mm-hmm. when you get up, call me. Okay. And we'll walk through through some things. Okay. And see if that helps you to get in the in the forward facing direction. Okay. At least. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. Whew. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, okay. Well, that's. A, I'm excited about this. I just. <clears throat> I'm. I'm. I'm hopeful. Yeah. I'm hopeful. Yeah. It's, it's it's been that thing that's been a struggle for you. Yeah, it has. And and I think not being right there with you has opened my eyes to an awful lot of things. And what I'm seeing clearly is again what I've said a couple times here is that you don't know what you don't know. And I think this might be a way to help you to reframe it and yeah. and be able to come at it in a different way maybe for the first time ever. Yeah, yeah. But that's but, a good way of putting it too, is to reframe it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and I think living with you, um, I think I was so immersed that I was missing a lot of things because it was the day to day. You know, I mean, we, it's face it, because it was me. We say prompting and redirecting; those are my words, but you would probably say nagging, <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, because it was always a. a a thing where it it was me being invested in what you were doing every day Mm. and you know being being away from you I can see that I don't know I I just have a different a different viewpoint right you know right um so I can see it a little bit different so I I think already this is us being a part you know, we talk all the time, see each other all the time. Yeah. We're just not living in the same <laughs> space anymore. Um, and, which I don't know if we said this before, so I just want to make sure that, you know, people, because I don't want anybody to worry about you. Um, there is, this is, this is a, a, an experiment that we're hoping works because I, I, I just have this feeling that you living away from us is going to be a very good thing for you. Right. And can help you to feel better about yourself and build your confidence. And, yeah. Um, and at the same time, if it doesn't work, you always have a place to live. Yeah. It's not like we, you know. Yeah, you haven't kicked me out. No. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, we absolutely have not done that. Right. But, but uh, I think this is a, a, just like. Um, we have an opportunity here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, you tr- we'll try that. Will you try that starting today? Yeah. What we've talked about? Yeah. Okay. All right. Awesome. Uh, 
anybody out there that's uh, that's listening that has any um, requests on subjects that we talk about, please let us know. Um, send us an email. You can go to sonyaking.com. It's S-O-N-Y-A-K-I-N-G. Um, there's a blog that goes along with this podcast every week. That's my perspective. The the podcast here is, you know. Our perspective. It's our perspective. I'd like, really like for you to be able to share what, what it's like for you yeah. all the time, especially yeah. in the podcast. But the blog is me. Yeah. My uh, nonsense. And <laughs> um, so that's out there every every week. If you could give us a five-star review, that would be fantastic because it, it, it helps us to be seen by more people. And um, um, I've been getting a lot of requests um, for people to be on the podcast, and yeah. I really appreciate that. Oh, cool. Um, and, and now we're kind of getting settled in and um, we can hopefully get schedules together so that yeah. can start happening. Yeah. That would be great. Um, as always, we're so grateful that you're hanging out with us. Yeah. And uh, uh, hope that um, life is getting easier for everybody and you're happy and healthy. Yeah. And, uh, and be safe out there. Well, we'll talk to you next week. Love you. Bye.